welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and here is what we have for you today. 5 cent score may help identify epilepsy patients who will not benefit from an invasive EEG. Epilepsy is a neurological disorder in which the brain activity becomes abnormal, causing seizures or even periods of unusual behavior, sensations and sometimes loss of awareness. An estimation of 65 million globally have epilepsy. A team of researchers in a new study published in the JAMA Neurology have developed and validated a tool that can be helpful for doctors in determining epilepsy patients who will not benefit from an invasive stereoelectroencephalography. This in turn will reduce use the unnecessary invasive diagnostic burden on patients and also the overutilization of limited healthcare resources. The researchers concluded that the 5 cent score may be useful for clinical decision making and can be helpful in identifying patients where stereoelectroencephalography is unlikely to find a focal generator. Unilateral palatally displaced canines may not delay tooth formation. There are a lot of reasons for delayed tooth eruption. It is often seen in patients with palatally displaced canines. The treatment of canines when they become impacted even involves surgical exposure of the tooth and the need for subsequent forced orthodontic eruption. But there is controversy over whether tooth formation is also delayed. According to a new study, unilateral palatally displaced canines do not delay the tooth formation and affect the dental developmental age. The study has been published in the American Journal of orthodontics and dentofacial orthopedics and suggests that the dental age estimation is the most accurate method of estimating age where a formal birth record is absent. The researchers concluded that unilateral with palatally displaced canines does not affect the developmental dental age and the end of series teeth investigated showed no delay in the development of the teeth. Study sheds light on safety of widely prescribed antacid and its carcinogenic concerns. Due to the changing lifestyle with increasing sedentary habits and very poor dietary choices, there has been an increased prevalence of increased pancreatic or gastric acid secretion and hence the increased use of antacids using including ranitidine. Ranitidine, a competitive antagonist of histamine 2 receptors, is used widely for the treatment of peptic ulcer disease and even mild to moderate reflux esophagitis. In a recent review published in the Journal of Indian Medical Association, the researchers described the safety and efficacy of ranitidine and safety concerns with its continued use. The say concerns for safety with N-nitrose dimethylamine in ranitidine formulations should be addressed with judicious use and analytical assessment given the widespread evidence of safety and efficacy. The proven efficacy and tolerability of ranitidine since its introduction over 20 years ago will ensure its continued use in the treatment of gastroduodenal conditions, the authors concluded. FDA approves Optilium urethral drug-coated balloon for urethral strictures. A urethral stricture is a scar in and around the urethra that can restrict the flow of urine from the bladder and can result in a very painful and often frustrating slowing down of the urinary stream. Strictures can be caused by infections, trauma and various other medical procedures that injure the lining of the urethra and can significantly impact the patient's quality of life. If left untreated, strictures can lead to serious complications including bladder and kidney damage, infections and even poor ejaculation in case of men. Multiple endoscopic treatments of the same stricture are proven to lead to progressively worsening outcomes, recurrence and even retreatment. A Minnesota-based medical device company announced that the FDA has approved the Optilium urethral drug-coated balloon for the use in male urethral strictures. That's all for today. I shall see you tomorrow. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.